Giant creatures cannot be animated like human-sized characters. Physics tells us that as an animal's or object size increases, its mass grows even faster, so movement must be adjusted accordingly. The first things animators do is of course to slow them down, to make them seem huge, explains ILM animation supervisor Hal Hickel, who was a lead in the Pacific Rim robot and monster animations. You see, a 250-foot creature simply can't dart around lightly. Fast motions would make it feel weightless or floaty. However, animators also face the slow motion paradox. If movements are too slow, the action can look boring or lacking energy. When it comes to the perception of weight, when animators animate giants, viewers intuitively judge weight by how an object accelerates, impacts other things, or responds to gravity. A giant's footstep, for example, should cause a tremor or leave a crater, and its limbs should show momentum, starting up slowly and lagging when stopping due to inertia. If a huge creature stops on a dime, or moves with agility, it breaks believability. As for Mito Yuida, the creator of Shadow of the Colossus, told his team, the bigger the Colossus, the slower it moves, because large size implies greater mass, which makes sense. But simply slowing the animation isn't enough, one also must enrich the motion with detail. He also added, even if the movement is slow, if you don't add more and more information, such as the reaction of the ground when it takes a step, or the way the reaction is transmitted to its knees and hips, people will only see it as something slow. In other words, a giant's motion should be packed with subtle secondary movements and environmental reactions to convey heft, not just played at slow speed. Another plausibility issue is the creature's anatomy and how it supports itself. Animators work closely with designers to ensure a giant's monster's proportions can plausibly carry its weight. For instance, animating a 300-foot-tall gorilla like King Kong or dinosaur such as Godzilla might involve slightly exaggerating limb thickness or reducing agility to respect what a skeleton of that size could do. Even if the creature is fantastical, the goal is to keep it feeling grounded, especially in the laws of physics. This often means avoiding extremely fast, elastic motions that smaller creatures or humans can perform, and instead emphasizing power and momentum over agility.